Hello, in this video we will discuss about NTP which stands for Network Time Protocol. Well, it is used to synchronize clock time across your network and its devices. You see, you already had done LDAP enumeration which has directory services. So, those directory services if it is appended or implemented uh, in NTP then uh, NTP protocol is going to work very efficiently. So, information of entities is stored in these directory services and now you are enumerating such protocols like NTP, then you are getting a lot of information about several things, right? So, it is used in client to client server as well as in peer to peer networks. Mm. So, the question is how? So, you see that throughout the world there are different servers and they, de they need to keep sync with each other to do the productive work. Well, this they do with the help of NTP. Here in the in the image here, you can see there are uh, there are almost uh, ten uh, five computers. So this is host one, host two, host three, host four, host five, and let's say this is host six as well. Now, if suppose that this host six becomes an NTP server, that means the, this clock, the clock of this computer, is being synced with host 1, host 2, host 3, host 4 and sorry this is actually host 5 this is my mistake apologies for that. So, if these 5 computers get synced their clock is synced with this NTP server then it can be done with the help of network time protocol. So, the clocks of these computers are completely synced with the NTP server. So, if you observe here in your clock, uh, if I open, uh, let me, I'm so sorry for this. If you just uh, open the date and time settings here on your computer uh, and you go to the internet time, you will see that your clock is synced with some server here. Uh, if you just go to the date and time, as, uh, see here that uh, synchronize your clock. However, uh, if you are having different time zone, uh, so there is internet time and currently it is synchronized with time.windows.com. So, instead of that, you can sync this internet time with this, with this NTP server and this can be done with the help of network time protocol. So, this is the intention of this protocol. It will, it will synchronize all hosts uh, connected to this uh, server having implemented NTP. It works on UDP port 123 and we can enumerate such as list of host connected. So, if this host 1, host 2, host 3, host 4, host 5 is connected to the NTP server, then you can enumerate this information, their IP addresses, system name, uh, operating system and different types of services being installed in these host system as well as in the NTP server. That means it is actually a computer, right? So, how it is uh, advantageous for me uh, as a cyber security specialist, this is advantageous because uh, if you can at least one of the computer has, uh, has a kind of vulnerability that you can later exploit it. So, there are possibilities, lots of possibilities that at least one, one vulnerabilities you can find in your information gathering or enumeration process uh, in this five computer or maybe you can find vulnerability in the NTP server itself, which is a good thing, right? So, now the question is how I can you know enumerate this to enumerate uh, NTP I mean to gather information about NTP well uh, you need to implement first of all NTP ok you need to implement uh, this protocol on your computer and this can be done uh, via any virtual machine if you are having just like me I have a, a Windows a server 2012 you can do this in 10, 8, 8.17 or 12 uh, sorry. Uh, 10 operating system, no issue in it. But I have server 2012 and I am gonna implement NTP here. So, to set up an NTP protocol, what you can do is first of all, you need to uh, open the W3 time. First of all, let's see uh, how we can do that. So, first of all, you need to go to the reg uh, registry. So, for that, you can type reg edit uh, in the run command. Then, you need to go to, I am so sorry, I already had opened the thing but uh, uh, let me just so you need to go to the h key local machine uh, then you need to go to the system 
uh, then you need to go to the current control set here then you go to the services then inside the services we have uh, w3 time here uh, just go to the w okay okay here see this is w3 uh, w32 time and inside w32 time we have uh, we have something called as time providers and inside the time providers we have ntp client and ntp server can you see so you just need to go to the ntp server and there is a key known as enable so in my system it is actually the value is actually one uh, but in your system if it is not enabled it, the value is is actually zero so you just have to double click here and just change the value of this value data from zero to one press ok and this will enable the ntp server the second configuration that you need to look after is go to the announced flag so how you can find announced flag is go to the w32 time and inside that i have a config parameter and config has a, a key known as announce flag so you just have to double click it the value initially you have i think 10 but you need to make it 5 so 5 is basically to make your computer as a reliable time server so there are two servers one is time server another one is a reliable time server so this 5 value gives you a reliable time server okay so hit okay here and this is is done the registry edit is done uh, and there are many other things you can do basically you can work out with w32 time in your leisure time however these are the only two settings right now for the ntp implementation now the services we have enabled i mean the ntp protocol is actually enabled but we need to start the service so w32 time is actually um, maybe it is disabled so you need to you need to make it automatic or maybe you have to start it so how you can start is go to the services.msc so you can directly uh, type services.msc in your run command and then you just need to find uh, win32 time here uh, sorry uh, windows time so if you can see here this is window, uh, windows time i hope uh, it is not visible but uh, here this is windows32 time uh, sorry windows time you just need to open it double click it and uh, apologies so it is actually uh, disabled so you need to make it automatic and then just make it start so the service is actually started and uh, let me just uh, it and then so your 32 i mean uh, the windows time the service you have uh, started so another thing is you see that the port uh, it is udp 123 that port is actually started now with the with the windows time restarted uh, but uh, still we need to make our firewall uh, to make it understand that one please open 123 port number uh, open for us so what you can do is uh, you can go to the firewall here uh, go to the windows firewall with advanced security uh, apologies for that uh, later uh, I think yeah so you open your firewall setting in that you need to specify one rule for the inbound and as well as outbound rule so click on the inbound rule and then you need to make a new rule actually I already have UDP 123 incoming but I'll show you how you can do that so just click on new rule uh, then make it to port then hit next and then you see that the port is UDP so select one uh, UDP here and then you provide your port number so 123 and then hit next uh, actually I will change it because I already have 123 enabled so I'll make next you please provide 123 remember this all right and make allow the connection do not make it like block the connection or allow the connection if it is secure otherwise your port 123 udp is going to be blocked somehow by firewall so make it completely allow as it is virtual machine no issue in it make it next and you will see that this rule apply to domain private or public no issue in it make it next and then you just need, need to provide the name of this uh, port you can give the service name here or anything that you are reliable with it you just give it here the name and then make it finish okay so i'm i'm clicking on cancel because i already have that port 123 open for 
me so you can see that it is enabled and action is allowed so firewall is going to uh, not going to restrict the incoming connection for port 123 okay so this is one thing and your ntp is actually uh, the the service of ntp is started now you see that sometimes it is possible that uh, it's not enough because it is a local ntp that you are starting but i do not want it i mean it, it is actually started but uh, you will not see any feasible uh, you know um, i mean information so to make it like uh, like actually ntp what you can do there is a very good website where you can download ntp tool and here is one of the tool uh, which is known as ntp uh, so uh, where you can download it it's a mindberg uh, website from where you can download ntp um, so this is a software which will uh, provide the ntp service in your computer uh, so just like uh, uh, i can give you an example uh, like if you want to use ftp so you are using filezilla client or server just like that if you want to use the time protocol you can use ntp software here okay so this is a software which will which will give you the ntp services so i'm gonna click okay here so that this software is installed in my computer you see i'll show you that initially i have windows xp as well so uh, so this windows server is going to be my ntp server now and this is the host um, one host which i which i want to which uh, the, the clock uh, this clock is get synchronized with this clock okay the ntp server clock so this is this xp machine is actually a host computer okay connected with ntp server if i fire a query to the windows server right now uh, you will not get anything right now but you will see when i install this ntp 4.28 15 uh, you will you can fire easily and you will get uh, a lot of information there so uh, currently if you see i'll show you to query uh, any ntp server you can write ntp q and write the ip address of the ntp server so i have the 192.168.117.139 this is the ip of windows server and you when you hit enter if you type peers you will not get anything you will get a, a request timeout uh, error you will see after a certain uh, amount of uh, seconds let's wait for that time you see that request timeout because ntp is not actually installed it is enabled by the way the service is enabled and everything is okay but actually ntp is not started right now so how you can do that is what i'm going to show you that you can do with the help of uh, this software which will give you the actual service okay so let's uh, get uh, install this so click next here and i'll provide you the link where you can download this mindberg uh, ntp protocol setup okay hit i agree and next next and it is going to be installed the uh, time protocol setup now when you get this screen you need to be very uh, sure about it see so first of all create an initial configuration file which is okay i mean you need an initial configuration which will uh, put none to it uh, we, we are not uh, uh, connecting to public ntp server just like uh, times.windows.com or nac.government.in we are we are not connecting to we, we want a local ntp server so so here you can give a local ntp server which is actually the ip address of this computer windows server so the ip address of windows server is 192.168.117.139 and you provide that add a local add a local clock as a last resort reference you need to click on it and then hit next and you see that uh, this will give you the config file so let me open the ntp.conf see it is installed in etc folder by the way so if you have any problem uh, later on you can uh, open ntp.configuration change your configuration and again uh, reset it okay so let me open that conf file ntp.conf and when i hit okay you see that this is ntp.conf and there are certain things you need to do so the first thing you need to provide here is you need to you need to delete this i burst here okay so first of all let me uh, just uh, remove this i burst this is the first setting so this is actually the time server ntp server ip address so uh, so if you are if you are querying the ntp server you can use this ip address while querying okay this is the first setting 
the second setting you need to allow the remote host so currently the remote host is my xp machine if you observe this is my this is my uh, remote host machine so i need to allow it so for that i need to give uh, you need i need to uncomment this i'm so sorry i need to uncomment it again this is great uh, i will uncomment it and then i'll give the ip address of that uh, machine so the xp machine ip address is 192.160 8.117.136 i'm sorry this is 136 and apart from that there is if you get an error like rest, uh, request timeout you can also provide here this is a local host uh, there's there's some difficulty uh, when you are firing ntp queue query to the ntp server so this is for that reason you are providing restrict uh, colon colon one so these are the three settings you can provide here and then you can uh, you know uh, enable an actual ntp service and so if you are having a remote host like uh, more than one then you can provide the ip addresses here and then these uh, remote host can connect to this ntp server all right so this is okay which is saved now i'm gonna hit okay and then these are the settings which is going to be by default then hit next and then it's gonna uh, trying to restart the NTP service and the uh, you can see that the protocol setup has been uh, is been connect so I'm gonna make it finish so uh, let me just uh, uh, okay so the NTP is now installed and let me see that uh, is it installed or is it correctly working or not for that reason you can download NTP time server monitor uh, I'll also give you the link in the uh, resource section so that you can download both softwares. So when you click or click this NTP time server, you can see that uh, NTP service is actually started automatically. Uh, other thing is uh, you can see here NTP status and you can see here that 192.168.117.139 which is uh, if you this is not visible then you can see here this is our local ntp server and it is actually connected it is my uh, it is my server now working as ntp you can see here this is a unicast server um, and now i can i can query this okay i can query this uh, uh, windows server with this xp machine which earlier was not uh, you know getting anything here in this command but now you will see that when i uh, let me exit uh, okay so now if i query uh, ntpq and provide you 192.168.117.139 and when i see here that this is a p you can see here that i'm i'm connect actually i can query the server uh, so now that ntp server is actually there in the in the in the connection um, so any host computer can can query that ntp server i hope you can you can understand by that uh, so let me just uh, minimize it and you can you can call any other command here by the help command and there are so many things you can you can gather it now so if you are having a better enumerator what you can do is you can query to my ntp server with the help of ntp queue uh, so what else you can do is uh, let's say uh, there are actually no peers but let's see if you can find so there are no peers so it will not show you sysinfo is also not going to okay so there is sysinfo you can see here that it gives you a system peers which is not actually um, what other thing you can see is uh, you can see you can also see the version here so this is version uh, so this is the end you can see here that uh, the software which we had installed in windows server the ntp uh, the version number of that uh, software has been uh, you can find here 4.2.8 15 5 uh, 15 so this is how you can do which is actually the installation of ntp now uh, how we can enumerate it there are different tools uh, available in the market by which you can enumerate ntp one is ntpq itself there is another is ntp trace which is uh, uh, in the linux system you can easily find it out uh, windows has many it's just like this uh, you can also go for uh, this one um, apologies here this is actually a good one ntp time server monitor other one is you can also uh, see that i have uh, uh, 
you can go for NTPC, which is also good. If I just um, type the IP address of NTP server, it will find all these things here, the time steps, timestamps and poll intervals and root delays and debug and all. So when I, uh, 39, apologies, okay. So when I test it, you see that uh, it will give you the specific things which is relevant to that NTP server. So this is NTP check and there are many actually tools available uh, you can use for the NTP enumeration. One of the best tool is you can port scan it like you can port scan 123 and you will see that 123 port is actually opened and the, the service it will show you that uh, NTP 4.2.8 is being installed and you can if there is a vulnerability available in the NTP 4.2.8 you can uh, you know exploit it. So this is how it, it works. So if someone is doing port scanning in the Linux system or in Windows system for this Windows server uh, 192.168.117.139 then they can find that there is a UDP port 123 open for me which is good right. So this is how your enumeration process of NTP gonna work. I hope uh, this is useful and uh, you're gonna practice it. Okay I'll see you in the next session with another enumeration uh, known as DNS all right. Thank you so much.